name is William Kessling and I'm a creative living in Savannah, Georgia. Now Savannah is magical I think just because it's the size of the city and for what it brings. I think like there's a lot of young creatives here. There's a lot more going on than I think what it may seem from the outside past like the tourism and all that stuff. After I graduated, I feel like I just, I kind of got in this mentality of this is like the perfect opportunity just to work a lot. And that's because a lot of, you know, a lot of people like move on from Savannah. I think that's the one problem with Savannah right now is that people don't realize the amount of energy that's here. People are like, oh, I gotta go to New York or I gotta go to California. And it's like the reach that you can have here is a lot larger than what I think people realize. Well, there's like three different types of people here in Savannah. I would say there's like the tourists, there's like the people that have retired in Savannah, and then there seems to be like the creative school. For the most part, friendly people. You stop on the street and you need to know where to go, people are always gonna let you know. Um, you wanna collaborate with somebody, somebody's gonna let you like pop into their shop to shoot something or do something like what we're doing right now, you know what I mean? So uh, i definitely say collaborative, working type people. It was actually word of mouth. I came into Focus Lab, them being like, hey, we don't really know what we want you to do, but we want you to just do you. Which truthfully, at that point, I was like, yo, I'm at school, I'm doing graphic design. I did videos on the side, and it was interesting because I was getting paid to do video at that point. So I came in doing video, started building that out, then I started introducing motion design, um, and I was just part-time on that. And then from part-time there, after I graduated school, I got the full-time offer, took full-time, just because I saw like the opportunity of being able to build something from the ground up and get the foundation, rather than coming into a situation to where something is already built and you're kind of like a machine. And so I'm just a big fan of giving the opportunity to be a creative. Because then like most of the times you fail a lot, but then through that failure, you end up becoming better. So. Um, now it's, I'm able to run like the videography and motion de uh, design department at Focus Lab through working there for like the past three years. So when it comes to like what I really like doing, it's, it's really just, it would be getting out of my head and like going to place like just like chilling at a coffee shop, um, hanging out with friends when they come into town, um, and then sometimes traveling too. Working to travel, right? Working to travel. Darling, you send me. One thing I want people to know about Savannah, uh, definitely I think the energy. I think there's this like a mentality for the people that know about Savannah that you can come here and you can like have an awesome chill day like on the weekend or you can there's an awesome nightlife too. That sometimes gets a little bit rowdy but you can kind of like, the thing about Savannah is you can kind of sculpt it to how you want it to be. I think there's like, it's a small city but there's um, different sections of the city that allow you to um, enjoy different facets of like life, whether it's chilling, hanging out, grabbing drinks, partying, um, creating, like there's all that within such a small space. Uh, so that energy is, you just gotta let it happen, you know? You gotta come here and enjoy it. Feel for yourself. My name is William Kessling and this is my Savannah.